So this has happened to a lot of us, but sometimes we swear that we know the password to our devices and no matter how many times we enter it, and every time we see this happen, it feels completely random and unprecedented. Of course, there are many cases where people just forget their passwords and don't have any access to their devices. In this video, we're going to offer exactly two different yet very effective methods of unlocking your phone's screen so that you can get back to using it in no time. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco, and if you're ready to unlock your phone with us, then please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. How to 100% remove your lock screen on a Samsung, Huawei, and Xiaomi device. The first method involves a full removal of your lock screen, 100% of the way. This particular method works best for Samsung, Huawei, and Xiaomi devices, but don't worry because the next method will cover many other devices from different manufacturers, and that's going to come right after we talk about this one, so make sure to stick around. Like always, before diving in, make sure that you have a backup of your data. Normally, if you already have a Gmail account connected to your device, then you probably already have a backup, but it's better to make sure in case of potential data loss. With that said, let's have a look at the first method. So first things first, you're going to need two Android devices to get this to work. Any Android device will do, but you need the phone that needs its screen unlocked and a cable that connects to both of these. Make sure that you go to the Play Store on the phone with good access and download the Dr. Phone app. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded it, open the app. Upon entering, you will be greeted with the main interface here. Click on the unlock button at the very bottom of your screen, then tap on unlock Android screen at the top left corner. From there, select the brand of device that you use. For this method, you have to use a Samsung, Xiaomi, or Huawei device. We will select the Samsung option because we're working with a Samsung phone. In the next window, select 100% remove screen lock. Now you have to put your device into recovery mode. Follow the instructions on screen for your specific device. Here, I am using a phone with a home button, so I will follow those instructions to get my device into recovery mode promptly. Once your device is in recovery mode, Dr. Phone will take care of the rest and will bring your device back to working order. Once it's done, you will see a notification saying that your phone screen is now unlocked. If it didn't work, just tap try again, but your Samsung phone will be back to normal from there. Part 2. How to unlock other Android screens. For this method, we will address what happens when you try to unlock other phone screens using the Dr. Phone app and how we can unlock the screen on other Android devices with Dr. Phone as well. This is going to be very simple. So find out with us what happens from the app itself. So same as before, just open the Dr. Phone app on an Android device. From this interface, tap unlock from the bottom, then tap on unlock Android screen from the top left. From here, select any other Android brand that you want to unlock besides Samsung, Xiaomi, and Huawei. In this case, I will select Google since that is the phone that I will be using. Then just go ahead and enter the information from your device such as the device OS, brand, and model. Since I'm trying this on a Google Pixel Fold, I selected Android for the OS, Google for the brand, and Google Pixel Fold manually entered for the model. Then select Detect to have Dr. Phone detect your device. After it's done, it will ask you to enter your email address. This is because Dr. Phone will send you everything you need to unlock your device's screen. So from here, just enter your email address. After you've entered your email, it will prompt you to check your email for further instructions, and it even guides you into showing you how to check this email and follow along. So once you check your email, you will be prompted to install the desktop app. So follow the instructions from your email and you will be able to unlock your device's screen after downloading Dr. Phone. So moving on to your desktop. Once you've downloaded the software, just open it. You will be greeted by this main interface. Connect your Android device to your computer. Then tap on the toolbox tab from the top left corner of your screen. Then from here, you're going to come across this interface, which shows off many of Dr. Phone's use cases. You just have to select screen unlock from this interface. Next, just select Android for the operating system. Then select unlock Android screen. Then select the brand of the phone that you wish to unlock. For me, I will choose Google. Dr. Phone will then display the instructions that you need to follow to put your specific device into recovery mode. We have to do this quickly. So it asks us to power down my phone. I will power it off normally, but to power it back on, I have to press and hold the power button and the volume down button for a few seconds until the screen is displayed. From here, we will navigate this menu by using the volume keys to move up and down, navigate to recovery, and tap the power key 
to enter recovery mode, as that will be your enter key. When this icon shows up, press the volume up key and power key at the same time, just once. Then we will enter this menu. Navigate to wipe data slash factory reset and tap the power key to enter it. Then you will need to navigate and select factory data reset. If you do so, everything will be wiped from your device, including the lock screen. Once it's done, it will give you the chance to reboot back into Android. From here, just reboot system now to go back into Android. And Dr. Phone will show you that your screen has been unlocked your phone will go back into Android from there. You can restore all of your data from a backup if desired, and you can set your own lock screen as desired as well. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. If you liked this video, then please make sure to leave us a like and comment any of your questions and thoughts down in the comment section. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this, and hit the notification bell to stay updated every time a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great day.